Right, right. So I'm back in the kitchen, and um, it's Friday, and I'm just getting myself organised, ready for Christmas. Um, I think I've got a bit of a cold, and I'm looking a bit. So excuse me, but we had a long journey yesterday as well. Um, we had to drive to see my mother-in-law yesterday, so feeling a bit tired. But uh, yeah, I've got just getting my marzipan organised. Not sure I'm going to have enough to do the whole cake. But if I get most of it done, that's all that matters, isn't it? So got myself a nice new tripod you're on a nice new tripod and i'm hoping that's going to work out well um it does have a little rechargeable light on the top as well Look at that. so it's not fully charged yet so it's not working but yeah so i've got my christmas cake these are my decorations off my mum so i'm gonna put them on some reindeer cheer apparently I've got these and they're going to go on in individual bits so when I cut it up to give it away to people they're each going to have either a gingerbread or a father Christmas or a snowman or a Christmas tree so that's nice and um, I've also got the lady that I go cleaning for once a month also made me some holly leaves and some holly berries to put on the Christmas cake as well so that was really nice. So I've got a nice little mix of uh, different things for different people so that's lovely. Um, so I've got my mum's decorations them off uh, my old lady Peggy. Um, I'm using Gordon's Christmas cake recipe and yeah it's just going to be a bit of a nice mixy mixy Christmas cake so that's going to be nice. I've lost my other microphone so I hope this one's working okay. Um, I've just lost it between here and the pantry, so it's not going to be far. Anyway, I'm going to get my icing sorted out. Um, it needs softening up a bit because it's been in the packet for a while. Um, I was going to make some marzipan, but you know, I can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. Um, I've also got this fondant icing, which I buy in little, and that can go on the top. So I'm sure I have another packet of marzipan, but I can't find it, so I must have got rid of it or used it last year. Try to keep some in, but uh, yeah. So I'll just turn you down, and uh, we'll have a look at the marzipan together. Right. So I've cut up the piece for the top, and that's the right width for the top. And then I've cut four pieces for the sides. So that's going to do the sides. Um, I just need to roll that out. Right, so I've got some homemade marmalade and I'm just going to put that over the top. Just to help it stick.
And I've got this bit of cake. I'm going to try putting a bit on the top. This is the sugared one, that's the no sugar. Just put it on the top. Here they are. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm late today. Hi, Pippa. They've got Christmas cake. Come on. In we go. Come on, Gertie. Daisy. So you got yourself in a muddle now. Managed to fix up their hutch a bit for them and put the new box in. So there we go. Right, they've got a bit of Christmas cake. Miss that. Stop being grumpy. Hey, right, so there they are. Christmas cake over there. Come on, Grace, and you go. Nice bit of food. Nice. Right, let's go and get this vlogmas tree. Right, so the shed's still leaking up there, and uh, I've decided enough is enough for now, and I'll sort it out next year. You can see all the wet on the floor, so I've decided not to bother. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to take this down to the house and enjoy it in the house, and transfer my Christmas tree from the kitchen into my vlogmas room so yeah that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to get it all unplugged and take it back down to the house come on then i've had a rotten vlogmas this year i may be better next year made you all sorts of promises and uh, haven't been able to keep up with any of it one thing and another See if we can move this shape as it is. Put that on there. So let's go back down to the kitchen. We have the vlogmas tree and let's go and pop it in the kitchen. Not a very nice day today. Still raining, still windy, and uh yeah, I wish we were having a white Christmas, I think. But I'm going to sort the fires out and put both the fires on today.
of Lockmas Shed is safely installed in the kitchen. Looking very pretty. Very kitsch. With all my little ornaments on. Handmade. There's Rudolph. I didn't realise I had two of them. I've got one with a little jumper on. There he is. And my little gingerbread house. I've still got my baubles for my weaving. So I'll tackle them over Christmas. If I'm up to it. Oh yeah, very happy. Happy to have this in the kitchen, I think. And then this one is going outside. Right, Christmas cake.
you've all had a good week and that you're all ready for Christmas. Um, sorry, I've not been around, but I think I've had COVID and uh, I've not been feeling on top of my game or on top of anything else, really. So uh, Christmas Day is cancelled and I'm going to have a quiet Christmas at home. I got the scarf finished, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I've got half of the baubles left, maybe a bit more. So I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to do that between Christmas and New Year. So this one's going off to its lovely recipient in church. I hope she likes it. I'm not sure if it's her thing. But it's certainly brightening up my day and making me feel a lot better. But uh, I had so many plans, so many things that I wanted to get done during Vlogmas. And I'm sorry that I just never got it all done, really. But I suppose there's always next year. There's always Vlogmas next year. So I just wanted to come on and uh, wish you all a very happy Christmas. And say thank you so much for supporting my channel and uh, for being with me in 2023. Sharing all my highs, all my lows, all my makes, all my failures. And uh, just being there with me. It's been great to have you all around. It's been lovely to meet you all. Lovely to talk to you all. And uh, lovely to have all you lovely subscribers subscribing to my channel. So next year, I'm hoping to do a lot more craft, a lot more weaving. Get some more of these scarves made and get them in my shop and sell them. Get some more spinning done. A lot more makes. I've got lots in mind of what I want to do. And uh, hopefully it will be the year for making. So yeah, I'm not going to hang around too long today because I'm not feeling my best. I feel rather tired, rather exhausted. And I just want to sit down, do some knitting and uh, watch the turkey cook. So I've got two turkeys. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to cook one and freeze it and use it for meals and then cook the other one and have it on New Year's Day when my family come. So yeah, I'm going to sign off and say have a lovely Christmas, have a wonderful New Year. I hope that it's full of blessings, full of good health, full of strength and well-being. And uh, I pray that God will bless you and fill you with life and peace. So yeah, have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year. If I feel up to it, I might try and come back on and say hello during Christmas and New Year. But otherwise, I'll see you in January. So enjoy your Christmas, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.